Recall that photorespiration occurs due to an accumulation of oxygen molecules and decrease in carbon dioxide molecules that result when stomata close. Plants in hot, dry environments have evolved to minimize photorespiration by maintaining high concentration of carbon dioxide. Before we start discussing the evolutionary changes, Let's briefly review the important aspects of the C3 plant leaf. The mesophyll layer is between the upper and lower epidermises. This layer consists of palisade mesophyll cells and spongy mesophyll cells. The palisade cells are directly overlying the spongy mesophyll cells. Now let's direct our attention to two groups of plants that have evolved to reduce photorespiration. The first group achieved this by maintaining high carbon dioxide levels as a result of structural rearrangement. Plants with this structural rearrangement are known as C4 plants. Like the leaf of a C3 plant, the C4 leaf has epidermal layers on the top and bottom surfaces as well as stomata scattered on the bottom surface. The difference in structure arises in the mesophyll layer. Notice the vein is wrapped around by bundle sheath cells, which are in turn wrapped by mesophyll cells. Let's investigate how a structural rearrangement can reduce photorespiration. We will use this zoomed in picture of the mesophyll cell, bundle sheath cell, and vein to explain the process. Recall from our photorespiration discussion that plants in hot, dry environments have a high concentration of oxygen and a low concentration of carbon dioxide in the leaf due to the closure of the stomata. Within this mesophyll cell, an enzyme called PEP carboxylase has higher affinity for carbon dioxide than oxygen. So even in conditions where oxygen is relatively high, the PEP carboxylase will pick up a carbon dioxide and attach it to a PEP molecule. This results in a molecule of oxaloacetate. Oxaloacetate is then converted to malate. Malate enters the bundle sheath cell and releases a carbon dioxide to become a pyruvate. Pyruvate re-enters the mesophyll cell and is reconverted back into PEP with energy input from ATP. The purpose of this pathway is to concentrate carbon dioxide within the bundle sheath cell. The Calvin cycle occurs in the bundle sheath cell of C4 plants. Because carbon dioxide is highly concentrated in this cell, Rubisco will assimilate carbon dioxide. Glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is produced from the Calvin cycle. The rearrangement of cells in the mesophyll layer allows for the concentration of carbon dioxide. This ultimately results in the reduction of photorespiration. The second group of plants evolved to minimize photorespiration by maintaining high carbon dioxide levels using organic acid. These plants are known as cam plants. Notice the leaves of cam plants have no structural alterations and are similar in structure to C3 plant leaves. CAM plants close their stomata in the presence of light and open their stomata in the absence of light. With open stomata at night, carbon dioxide diffuses in and oxygen exits. This results in higher carbon dioxide concentration within the leaf at night. Now let's focus on a palisade mesophyll cell. During the night, carbon dioxide is picked up by the enzyme PEP carboxylase and is attached to a molecule called PEP. The resulting molecule of oxaloacetate 
is converted to an organic acid. The organic acid is stored in the vacuole until light becomes available. In the morning, the organic acid exits the vacuole and releases a carbon dioxide and PEP. The carbon dioxide can be incorporated into the Calvin cycle to produce G3P, whereas the PEP will be reused during the night to carry another molecule of carbon dioxide. The reason why carbon dioxide is released by the organic acid in the morning is because the Calvin cycle requires ATP and NADPH produced from the light reactions. Keep in mind that the Calvin cycle can only occur in the morning because it requires energy products from the light reactions. In summary, a reduction in photorespiration can be achieved by two means. Structural rearrangement of cells in the mesophyll layer, as seen in C4 plants, and storage of carbon dioxide as organic acids during the night as seen in CAM plants.